Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be the books and resources that I used during my first year. And this is going to be a recommendation and an advice kind of video and I hope it helps you guys out. So firstly, I would like to say that all the books that I have recommended in this video are what I personally used during my first year of MPPS. And my advice would be choosing the book that best suits you is very very important during the first year or during the course of MBBS because ultimately it all depends on self study and books are your ultimate source of knowledge during self study so i know there will be youtube video resources or other video resources and your professors teaching you in college but that is all just a supplement to the all the hard work that you have to put in to read a book so choosing the right book for you is very very important and starting to study from day 1 is very very important or else it will all pile up till the end and it will become a mess so my next advice would be that if you find the perfect book for you please stick on to that book till the end do not keep switching books that would make a huge mess so if you find a book find a book and stick on to it till the end do not switch books keep the same book Tr have trust on it have trust on yourself and just you can ace the exams also quality matters over quantity it's not about how many books you read in that subject it's about how well you read that one book and understand every concept from it and retain it in your head for the long run so that is very important retaining the knowledge is very important as sometimes subjects and topics can get very volatile so retaining is very important so always believe in quality over quantity and never compromise if you are not understanding the topic so if you are not understanding a particular topic please spend time on that topic and make sure you understand it to the fullest so from the beginning if you have this habit it will really help you in long run yeah and without any further ado let's get into the video so i think you guys all know by now that first year has three subjects anatomy physiology biochemistry and a minor part of psm So first let me talk finish off with this PSM I haven't used any book for PSM or haven't studied anything other than the class notes and all the PPTs that they have showed us during the classes and we just had one exam for PSM so it was also an internal so that's it so putting that aside now let's come to the main topic that is anatomy for anatomy we have BD Charasya and Vishram Singh they are both i feel equally good books i used bd charasya in the beginning so like i was in that trial period ki i was trying bdc and vishram and seeing which works for me so i tried bdc but that was not the book for me so i switched to vishram and ever since i switched to vishram anatomy has been a smooth ride i love vishram singh the book but however there are drawbacks of that book uh, neuroanatomy is not given as much as it was given in uh, bdc so you can read bdc for neuroanatomy yes i would recommend please read bdc for neuroanatomy and rest you can have it from uh, vishram singh only next uh, i would say about the uh, video resources i used video resources mainly for practical examinations i did not use it for theory as much maybe a few topics that was skipped during classes i watched from johari mbbs but other than that i haven't used any video resources for theory so for practical there's this beautiful channel called viva voice of anatomy it is so good like all the practical viva cross discussion cross potters osteology everything i just watched those videos before exams not like right before exams but maybe during the classes as well sometimes so they help out very much and obviously as i mentioned johari mbbs it's in hindi that's the only drawback but well if you understand it it's good enough uh, i used it for cross discussion like some topics of cross discussion for example head and neck it's not there in viva voice of anatomy so i used from uh, johari mbbs for my practical examinations other than that i also used marrow lectures marrow lectures during uh, the time of 
like revision last phase like when all my syllabus was done and i was a little lethargic to read book like read the books so then i was like okay fine i'll watch some revision videos uh, they were not revision revision videos maro videos are long but i use them as my revision videos it just brushed up all my knowledge i'm a kind of person who likes to learn while being taught i usually absorb everything during the classes itself i do not specifically keep time ki like i have to self study every day for this much time or anything like that so basically what helped me was listening to classes in my college and taking down class notes like i swear by my class notes all the time any exam be it internal like or university or unit test or periodic test anything i used to read my class notes and just like whatever whatever happened in class i used to try to read from the textbook as well during the class itself whatever extra points are there in the textbook i used to write it down in my notes itself so that that would help me a lot and then other than that dissection is very very important so dissection is where you learn 60% of your anatomy i used to learn most of my anatomy from dissection from actually seeing the structures and you know discussing with your dt mates that's very very important so also uh, for anatomy there is this one app called 3d anatomy i think yeah where you can actually visualize all the structures nerves vessels and bones and muscles and what not because some muscles like small muscles especially in the gluteal region and some nerves like the obturator nerve for example we haven't found it during dissection so if you actually want to visualize that you can use this app called 3d anatomy app so that's it for anatomy moving on let's move on to physiology for physiology obviously the standard book is guyton and i did read guyton for two chapters that is central nervous system and respiratory system so let me tell you i did not give up on guyton as easily i tried reading guyton but i could read only for the first two chapters and after that it became quite tiring for me considering the fact that i had to give a lot of time to physio like every paragraph i had to understand i'm a kind of person that if i don't understand a topic i make sure i understand it and then only move on so it for example some topics took me like two pages or three pages took me around like a week to complete it from guyton and i was having a lot of backlogs that gave me a lot of anxiety and everything so that's when i realized okay let's keep guyton aside it's a standard book i agree but i have to understand the concepts a little faster so that i can cope up with other two subjects also like physio is not the only subject it have an add and biochem as well so that's when i cut off guyton and started gk pal ever since i started gk pal i stuck on to it i read gk pal till the end so it's a very good book it's obviously a big book but every concept is portrayed in a very understandable manner so if i read gk pal once i can understand gk pal coming to the video lectures i don't think i used any videos for you know theory of physiology it was as i already told i am lucky to have good professors at least i made use of my professors very well i used to study from class itself make notes and read that itself i used to read my class notes itself for all the uh, minor tests that took place in our college for example unit tests or periodic tests also internals actually only for the third internals and like for the final exams that's when i actually studied gk pal like religiously for the exam before that i used to study gk pal as in like an extra point you know to my class notes or whatever i understood in class what else is left out kind of but so stick to that i stuck to gk pal and my class notes okay so i didn't use any video lectures but um i did use video lectures for practicals again uh, i don't know like randomly like suppose i wanted to like know the procedure of ergography or perimetry during the end phase you know when i forgot a few procedures so that's when you know random videos just type in ergography practical physiology you get a video you just watch that so that is all uh, i did not use any cl guy as such for practical i just read my practical record and that was more than enough i felt why why if you have like proper theory knowledge why why is a cake walk only it's easy actually so yeah i did use maro for a few topics that i didn't understand for example renal system 
so during rena system there was like my freshers time and i was i'm the cr of my class so i couldn't attend a lot of classes so i didn't know when rena system started and when it ended also so then i needed a proper orientation of that so then i thought i needed to watch some lectures so then i watched maro lectures for renal system reproductive system like these minor systems i watched cuz i didn't have a proper orientation of that systems um, some people would ask me if is maro recommended for first year i used maro cuz i had maro but it was it's not like you have to use maro there's nothing like that i don't think maro is required in first year actually i just use it as a revision for me because i personally was lethargic to read books it's not like if i didn't have it i would have read books okay so that's how because i had it i had to use it and i just watched those videos so they're really good actually my advice for physiology would be do not neglect the diagrams and flow charts it's very important and everything that's written below the diagram and flow chart is also important it basically summarizes you know some pages of that book itself below the diagram so diagrams are important if you understand like if you want in depth understanding of the concept reading is not just enough you need to understand the diagrams how the charts what happens and everything all the process needs to be like in a flow chart in your head so that you completely understand the topic and it will help you in long run so make sure you do not uh skip the diagrams or any flow chart that's there in gkpl or gaiden that's it for physiology next coming to biochemistry so first of all i would like to say biochemistry it's not my favorite subject okay like anat physio is love but biochemistry was like it it was just a professional relationship between me and biochemistry i had to do it to pass my first year so i did it it was kind of that i never i was never really interested in biochemistry as a subject okay so but still i think lippincott is the gold standard book and then we have satyanarayan and vasudevan lippincott and all that much i didn't even i didn't even look at that book but satyanarayan and vasudevan i have both the books i read satyanarayan from starting and then I did try Vasudevan also but I was never a constant reader like of any book Satyanarayan or Vasudevan but I would recommend Satyanarayan over Vasudevan it's easier I feel to read and uh, so I never used to read every day I was never consistent in biochemistry the only thing I was consistent was attending classes and taking down class notes and trying to understand the concept in class itself and we also have good professors there so they used to like give us concise notes like what is enough for exams and what is enough for conceptual understanding but if i missed out on some concept i used rmp book rm prasad book uh during like from my after my second internals onwards i realized ki biochemistry i'm not doing that well and i need to focus so so for my second internals i started reading rmp and actually see people tell rmp is like a last minute book or revision book no actually it helped me clear a few of my concepts as well so i don't know you can judge me if you want but i read rmp from second internals time onwards till the end and okay yeah the, the most important thing is i read rmp like around 5 to 6 times the whole book yeah for sure i made sure i knew every point from it till the end so i think yeah that's where like quality over quantity worked for me and i did pretty well in biochemistry ever since i've started reading rmp and i do have concepts it's not like i do not most of the credits goes to my teachers who taught me in class so that i could understand the concept in class itself and rest was from rmp rm prasad's book okay and the video resources i haven't used any video resources as such not even like for revision or video resources practical just read practical book that we have whatever record we wrote that's all i did i didn't do anything extra for biochemistry and that's how it happened so that's it for today's video i hope you found it helpful i wish i could show you guys in person my books but i do not have the books right now with me they're in my hostel room So I hope I've covered everything that I wanted to say in this video but if you guys have any more questions please do comment down below and I will try to reply
so i hope you have a very fulfilling and nice first year journey i mean if you're watching this video i'm pretty sure you're curious to know what happens in first year or you are getting into first year so congratulations and happy first year for you bye guys